Hey guys, here we are at the 14th floor of a hotel in Phnom Penh. At least we've been saying Phnom Penh so far because they spell it like philosophy or Philadelphia or phonetics or phosphorus or whatever with PH, right? But I've actually heard some local guys saying Phnom Penh. So I guess it's pronounced that way. Well. Why the fuck do you spell it that other way? Jesus Christ. Again, it's just like with Vientiane the other day. Um, anywho, this is just me kind of babbling and ranting to kind of put something off. Because I don't know if you noticed, but there's a... Well, you probably didn't because Kathleen has only been filming me so far. But there's a pool down there. And... Um, <sighs> Yeah, I've been, okay, I might as well, might as well just do it, might as well just, uh, yeah. Okay, actually not that bad. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, like I said, we're in Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. Uh, we've been here for, what, uh, five days, I think, and, um, I don't know, I think I'd have to say, we were expecting, uh, as you will recall from when we were in Siem Reap, um, we were expecting things to maybe not be quite as touristy and expensive down here, but, uh, so far they kind of seem to be. I mean, you can get fairly cheap street food, and, um, and you can get a, a nice local experience, but it's also, I mean, this is a very, um, how do you, how do you, I, how do you put that? It's a, it's a big city, uh, and it has some, some big city vibes going, but it also, at the same time, like, you can, you can, you can see around if you, uh, if you noticed, uh, before, and if my lovely assistant would just give you a little pan there, you can see it has a lot of, um, a lot of those big glass and steel um, capitalist ivory towers. So, um, but at the same time, when you walk around the streets, you'll see these little, all these little squalid um, sidewalk uh, local stores. I wouldn't even call them stores because it's just local people sitting around and and selling like cold drinks and random shit. Uh, apparently out of their garages so it's like there is a big discrepancy between rich and poor here i know there there is in in all the southeast asian countries but it seems to be more prevalent somehow in cambodia also the well like i said the prices are kind of high and the the local merchants are kind of especially the tuk-tuk drivers are really aggressive here um so I probably have to say that Cambodia is my least favorite uh, part of Southeast Asia, at least so far. Um, that being said, we will be going to a metal place tonight, or at least the place that we could find that was somehow the, the most metal. So, um, so I'll be putting a link to that in the, the website post. And tomorrow we will be going to a place that I'm not gonna mention here because uh, it's been kept as a surprise for me. So I'm gonna be keeping it as a surprise for you as well. Uh, if you wanna find out, if you wanna tag along, you can hit that subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're not watching this on YouTube, then uh, go ahead and watch it on YouTube. Again, daddy needs some watches and likes and clicks and what the hell not. Okay, so go and interact with my content a lot and feed those fucking algorithms like we do these days. And uh, we'll be in touch from uh, Secret Country.